Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Vox Breaks with Bruce. That's right, it is Upper Deck Series 2 Day, 2020-21, Upper Deck Hockey Series 2 that is. We're on the hunt for those hot and fresh young guns, as well as those high gloss exclusives, maybe jerseys, autographs, maybe printing plates, hits that can be found inside this product. This is kind of the staple of hockey cards. Um, I did do a bunch of the Series 1, unfortunately didn't really make it into a, a video, however, these will. I have three boxes. Our box break series here is going to be broken down into three separate videos, because otherwise it'll be about an hour long, and uh, let's be real, no one's going to watch a one hour long video, not even as background noise. So we're going to do one box at a time, one box each day. Uh, Herbe Bobblehead of Judgment is here to judge best he can, um, as this product just came out about a half hour ago uh, in my time zone over here. That won't really have much in the way of comparable sales, so there won't be estimated sale value just yet. However, we are on the hunt for some of those hot young guns. Kirill Kaprizov being one of the big ones, Tim Stutzel for Ottawa being a really good one as well. There's of course Nils Hoglander, Dylan Cousins, Ilya Shorokin, and Kevin Lankinen as some of your uh, next layer down. But there's quite a few good ones, there's quite a few bad ones, just like always with Upper Deck Young Guns. Without further ado, my friends, building up that suspense for all of you, let's get ready for box breaking. Let's start off with this box that's just standing over here because, well, it makes the, the most sense. Let's turn these other boxes to the side, otherwise it's eating away at my open space here. Slice on the front. I'm not one of those people who actually collects and saves the boxes. To me, they're just cardboard holders for the good stuff inside. I feel no attachment to them. Of course, there was a 1979 ATO Peachy box. That would be a different story or a tin of the cup, but nah. They over, way overproduce all these boxes, so they're never really going to command any value. The empty boxes, that is. All right, so you know my routine, I know my routine. The left side is always first, then the right side. If there's a really thick card, if we happen to get a patch, again, that's like a case hit, then um, we'll show that off. Otherwise, gonna go through. If all the young guns are in the first six packs, well then, so be it. That's how the break goes. All right, so the pack features player picture, Weird little double exposure on uh, the back, so you can't really read what the odds are of anything. <laughs> All right, pack number one. So we know what the base design looks like. We've seen it plenty. Of course, we keep an eye out for the French parallels and, of course, the clear cuts. Uh, I'll get the Urbe bobblehead down here, because otherwise the face is going to not allow me to see the cards. So we have Pecorine base. Chris Kreider, Radek Faxa, Michael Amadeo. We have Young Guns, rookie of Philippe Millet, which would be not one of the best ones, that's for sure. Not at all. Okay, so we have our first Young Gun down, and it's kind of a crappy one. Marcus Sorensen, Capo Caco, and Sean Corrali. So one young gun in, we're not impressed yet, but if I'm impressed one pack in, then it just makes the rest of the break more uh, disappointing. This way we'll build up to something good, I can feel it. Logan Couture, Kerry Price, Brad Marchand, Anton Strollman, and we have OPG marquee rookies of Mikhail Burden, Winnipeg Jets, just your regular OPG rookie. Alexander Edler, Valerie Mchushkin, and Ivan Barbashev. Gonna be getting a ton of these base cards here, so that pile's gonna grow, grow, and grow some more. I think we've got another Young Guns here. All right. We have Mike Hoffman, Clayton Keller, Robbie Fabry, 
We have Young Guns rookie of Lucas Vedemo. Monreal Canadiens. Um, not the greatest. However, it being a Montreal card gives it some immediate impact uh, in the resale market. Can't tell you what the estimated resale is at this time, though. Okay. Brian Dumoulin, Cam Atkinson, Brad Hunt, and Yaroslav Halak. The debate rages on. Who should they have kept? Carey Price or Yaroslav Halak? Not my place to decide. We can only speculate. Uh, Darren Helm, base. Sam Steele. Arturi Lekkonen. We have Young Guns rookie of John Leonard. John Leonard. It's, uh, it's okay. I think it's better than the other two we've gotten so far, but it's not, not the best. Patrick Laine, still with the Jets in there. Cody Glass, Mark Giordano, and Marcus Kempney. So we're still working our way down the left stack over here. See what more treasures await, if anything. Okay, Brady Kachuk. Oliver Ekman Larson. Matthew Barzal. Anders Nilsson. That nice gear. We have Upper Deck Canvas, first one of the break. Duncan Keith. Zdeno Chara. Checklist, Austin Matthews, Elias Pedersen, and Sean Walker. So we are three of six young guns deep, and we're not really impressed just yet, but a lot can change. All right, we have Brett Connolly, former first round pick, just kind of jumping around the teams. Alexander Nylander, Nick Schmaltz. We have my least favorite cards in history, these upper deck portraits from any year for that matter. Uh, Emil Larmy, rookie portrait. Horrible design, I hate them. <laughs> They'll never convince me otherwise. Uh, Ilya Mikheyev, Max Pacioretty, Jason Spezza, and Jack Roslovich. Of course, this is why I said <laughs> I'm not going to do all three box breaks at once because an hour-long video it would definitely become. Uh, Brian Rust, Anton Khudobin, Andrei Svechnikov, Warren Fogel, and we have marquee rookies of Nico Mikola. I believe this is a retro parallel. Super thin material. Why? My goodness. Like, wow. Way thinner than than uh, usual. Okay. Andrew Kopp, Tom Wilson, and Elias Pedersen. So three young guns deep. We're not doing too well with those. But a lot can change. Miro Heiskanen, Andre Palat, Jakub Voracek, Portraits Rookies, Nick Robertson. I hate Portraits cards. Jordan Stoll, Roman Yossi, Ryan Getzlaff, and Jaden Schwartz. Remember when Jaden Schwartz was the hot young gun in 2012-13, uh, because that lockout year, him and Chris Kreider were really the only two. Okay. We've got the Dazzlers by the looks of it. Travis Dermott, Ian Cole, Brendan Smith, Anthony Sorelli, and we have Dazzlers Pink, Oliver Ekman Larson. Can't remember if the Dazzler's Pink was the case hit or not, or, or a, a case hit. I'm not going to say the case hit, because, well, let's say if that's the big hit, we got problems. Um, now, like I said, the back of the thing has the weird double exposure. Let's see. Yeah, Dazzler's Pink, one in 144 packs. So, not the highest odds. Okay. Joel Faraby. Nicholas Kjellmerson. And Anthony Beauvillier. And we're still not done the left side yet, so that's how much fun we get out of uh, 24 packs here. Victor Olofsson. Patrick Kane. Ryan Pollock. We have marquee rookies of Vitaly Kravtsov. It's a blue border by the looks of it. Okay. Chris Tierney, Jonathan Huberdeau, 
Antiranta, and Valtteri Filpula. The man who's been around the NHL for quite a long time now, in comparison to many of the names in the product. Right, Travis Zajac, Pierre-Luc Dubois, Sebastian Aho. We have upper deck canvas of Jake Gensel, Patrick Maroon, Nick Paul, Jake Vertanen, and Derek Ryan. Last pack of the first side. And then we move on to the right side. Joel Armia, Adam Henrique, Henry Yokiharu, Jack Hughes. We have marquee rookies of Alexi Lafreniere. All right, that's a good one to get. I mean, he is the number one pick, and some people are throwing around that word bust too soon here. He's only <laughs> so short into an NHL career. If anyone says he's a bust at this point, come on. I mean, really, come on. Someone might watch this video two, three years down the line, and he may have turned out to be a bust. Who knows? But at this point, once again, come on. Grow up, people. Uh, Andrew Mangipane, Richard Panic, and Chandler Stevenson. Remember, he was a Washington Capitals prospect. Kept getting his rookie cards in 15-16 instead of McDavid from the Oilers there. Damn Chandler Stevenson. <laughs> All right, stack number two, the right side, my friend. Oh, looks like we got another one of those portraits I just love so much. Okay, Adam Pellich, Matthias Eckholm, Seth Jones, Jesper Bratt, and we have Upper Deck Portraits rookies of Vitek Vanacek. Can't complain is a good name. I just hate the portraits cards. They're so ugly. Corey Perry. Adam Boquist and Jacob Gardiner. So, still three more young guns to go in theory. Uh, ben Chiaro. Oscar Lindblom. Lindblom. Jeff Skinner. The new Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We have Marquee Rookies. I believe retro of Oli Ulevi. You Levy. Again, super thin the retro versions compared to the regular OPG. Uh, Vladislav Gavrikov, Ryan Dzingle, and Paul Byron. So three more young guns. Come on now, who could they be? Okay, Claude Giroux. We have Andreas Athanasiou. Jordan Greenway. We have Young Guns Checklist. I always hate the checklist. You always get a good name, but it disappoints. Um, the Young Guns Checklist. Tim Stutzel and Dylan Cousins. And just the regular version, not French. Okay? It's, it's okay. Not the greatest. Uh, Carter Roney. Brandon Montour. Damon Severson. And Brent Burns. Two more young guns. Hopefully, we get a, a good one. Hopefully. Okay, Gustav Nyquist. Oscar Sundquist. Tyler Bozak. We have Dazzlers, blue regular version, I'm guessing, of Roman Yossi. Nice little dazzling effect. Oh, and right behind it, we have Jake Evans. Upper deck canvas, young guns. Okay, okay, I'll take it. Canvas Young Guns are always nice. Again, Montreal Canadiens, not going to complain about it. Okay, cool. Malcolm Subban, Derek Stepan, and Mario Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> All right. All right, on to the next pack. We have Ben Hutton. Huh, forgot. Never realized he played with the Kings. I believe he was Vancouver Canucks rookie, uh, the McDavid year there. Uh, Jared McCann. Jonas Broden. Alex Chisson. 
We have a rookie of Alexander Romanov, Montreal Canadien. It's decent, and again, being Montreal Canadiens, it's an easier move than some teams. So, okay. Victor Orvidsson, Zemgus Girgensons, and Mackenzie Wiegar. Or Wieger, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'll have to look it up, because I do not like not being able to pronounce a name. So it makes me feel bad, and uh, I know uh, I like it when people take the effort to learn how to pronounce my last name. Uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. pierre Edouard Bellomer. Andre Vasilevsky. Marquis Rookies of Gilles Sen. I believe he's a Swiss goalie, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. From Bulach, Switzerland. Cool. Plus, I'm a fan of goalies, I mean. Why else would we be called Heroes of the Creeks, Goaltending Museum, and Memorabilia Limited if I didn't like goalies? Uh, Anthony Mantha. Troy Terry. Victor Mete. And Chris Dreger. Talk about a career comeback, eh? Three games over three seasons with Ottawa. Kind of vanished and then established himself in uh, Florida as a legit goalie. Worthy of the NHL. In my opinion. Kale McCarr. Patrick Marlowe. Anders Bjork. And we have Young Guns rookie of Nikolai Nijov. Not the best. That's all I can say. This one is not the best. Sam Reinhardt. Dominic Kubalik. Pavel Buchnevich. And Rup Rupe Hintz. But hopefully, we get some cool hits still. Because there's still a bunch of packs left. Connor Hellebuck. Marc Andre Fleury. Johnny Goudreau. And we have Fluorescence Red, I'm guessing, of Igor Zamula. Didn't they used to be serial numbered? I swear they used to be serial numbered back in the past. Um, what is this? Fluorescence. So there's fluorescence gold, blue, green, and magenta. Um, is this gold? Gold, maybe? I can't tell. It's definitely not blue, green, or magenta. I don't know, we'll have to find out. I'm honestly not sure which version that is. We'll put that aside. Uh, Vladimir Tereshenko, Vince Dunn, Jonathan Quick, and Marcus Pedersen, the less cool Pedersen of the NHL. Yeah, it looks like a red rather than any other color for the fluorescence, but there's no red on this checklist according to what I can see here. Uh, Coral Hagelin, Austin Matthews, Robin Lenner, Jake Muzzin, we have... Alex Belisle, Montreal Canadiens, Upichi rookie, Joel Eriksson Eck, Leon Dreisaitl, and Justin Hall. A few more packs to go in box number one. Tucker Pullman, Jordy Ben, Shea Theodore. Uh, portraits. Portraits rookies of Bowen Byram. Good rookie name. Such an ugly card. Good. We have a French version. As you can see, it says, Verion Francais, Alexander Edler. So that's an insert. Ryan Graves, Drake Batherson, and Tyler Johnson. Two packs remain in our first box. No exclusives, no plates, no autographs, no jerseys so far. Nico Rantanen, Marcus Foligno, Jake DeBrusque, Calvin DeHaan. We have award winners, OPG, of the Tampa Bay Lightning Stanley Cup champions from the previous season. Don't know if that's a tougher pull, I doubt it. Uh, Denis Gurianov, 
Dustin Brown, and Josh Bailey. And on to our final pack from box number one. All right, we have checklist Patrick Kane and Leon Dreisaitl. Matt Roy, Sid the Kid Crosby. Upper deck canvas of David Perron. Nice retro style jersey from the mid 90s there. Mikhail Sergachev, Zach Aston Reese, Mackenzie Blackwood, and Brendan Lemieux. That is the first box, my friends. Do a very rapid recap of our hits that I think are better than average, plus the young guns, and then we will wrap up this episode with episode number two, with box number two coming up tomorrow. Okay, so here's our quick recap of the hits that are better than average. So we have Oliver Ekman Larson, we have a Dazzler's Pink, those fell one in 144 packs. With Alexis Lafreniere, OPG Marquee Rookie. Can't complain, it's number one overall pick. Of course, you would have preferred a Young Gun Series 1 there when we opened those boxes, but uh, whatever. Rookies are rookies are rookie. Uh, fluorescence. At the time of this recording, I still don't know what version this is. Definitely doesn't look gold, but it's not numbered to anything, so we'll... And it looks orange, in fact, or red, so we'll figure this one out later. Then we have Young Guns of Nikolai Nijov, Alexander Romanov, the checklist of Stutzel and Cousins, John Leonard... Lucas Videmo, Philippe Mallet, and we got the Young Guns canvas of Jake Evans. What is the Urbe bobblehead of judgment's verdict on box number one of Upper Deck Series 2 hockey? Yeah, Urbe says it's all right. Young Guns hits weren't the best. We had some okay ones, but some of the bigger names definitely didn't pop out. We also didn't get any supplementary hits really in the way of uh, exclusives, jerseys, autographs, that kind of stuff. So, that's box number one. I'm glad you tuned in to watch the first episode here. Till next time, my friends, have yourselves an excellent day. Bye-bye.